Okay, folks, pressing on through this book, Oliver's Musical Genius, In Search of the Perfect Jam. This is the channel where I practice for at least 10 minutes on every single video as I progress towards 10,000 hours of public practicing. Um, this book is, I'm working on this book, uh, Andrew Green, Jazz Guitar Technique. And um, truth is, it is a technique book in that uh, he does focus on, and especially early on in the book, um, some technical stuff, uh, especially um, the fact, well actually, one of, the, one of the highlights in the beginning, the intro of the book, is the fact that um, one of the technical challenges of guitar is to play uh, notes on adjacent strings. So playing notes on the same string, especially smaller intervals, is relatively easy on guitar. Playing notes on adjacent strings is challenging, um, and especially notes on adjacent strings on the same fret. Um, so the first exercise in the book is actually on page nine, and it's just a, a lick that fits over a one six two five, a major one six two five, and uh, it's an interesting um, little lick. Uh, I played it in one of the prior videos, but I'll play it again. the first one it's not even flagged as an example it's just given uh, it's just given it's not an official um, <clears throat> exercise in the book it's actually just uh, presented as an example on how to tackle the fingering but chapter one is learning the neck basics and there's a bunch of exercises here and I'm working through them the first exercise I discussed in the last video I'm not going to bother with because it's just, um, it's like the Coltrane uh, one, two, three, five pattern. Um, and it's in C major. And it's presented in um, a bunch of different positions. And it's really something that I actually have worked on this over the years um, as a result of doing this book. So I, I guess I just play it. <laughs> So you can see that one of the technical challenges of the guitar is playing the same exact phrase. Uh, the fact that you can play the same exact phrase in with multiple fingerings and in multiple different positions. So just an aspect of guitar um, that needs to be addressed. Now, last video I played um, exercise number two, which is essentially a... Um, a phrase that fits over fits nicely over a, a two five one a minor two five one that's exercise that's example two in learning the neck and it just it just um, uh, demonstrates the fact that you can um, uh, I guess the fingering of the phrase uh, the phrase itself is not mind-blowing in any way but the fingering of the phrase is um, is uh, meant to, I guess, get you comfortable with traversing the neck while playing the phrase rather than playing it in a position. Exercise two is that phrase in A minor, two, five, one. Um, the second, uh, actually exercise two, and then exercise three is the exact same phrase, exact same fingerings in C minor. So he wants us to play the phrase in both a minor and C minor. So guess what? Um, I was using softly as a as in a morning sunrise as my backing track, just the first measure, but I've gone and edited it <clears throat> so that I can play the uh, so that it goes from an A minor two five one. It's 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 a one two five uh, actually. <clears throat> but an A minor two five one twice, and then it goes to the C minor two five one. I'm gonna play it 
uh, at 90 BPM uh, because 100 was a little bit too fast. And um, I don't want to make too many mistakes here on this video. So like I always do, I'm going to start a timer, 10 minute timer, it's actually 12 minutes just to make sure I don't you know, shortchange you all. Uh, and I'm going to play this phrase, uh, A minor and then C minor back and forth for 12 minutes. Here we go. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching. Got some free screen freeze and a really nice face there. Perfect. Perfect.